Hello, 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 hello. Hi, how are you doing today? ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están todos? Espero que estén muy bien. <laughs> uh, welcome to a new live stream. How are you guys? Um, so today we're going to do a crossword puzzle about verbs, different Spanish verbs, and um, we don't have a specific topic, but uh, we're just guessing verbs in Spanish. Uh, so before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I live stream. Also, you can visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. And to download this crossword puzzle, you can do that on smlessons.com. So yes, that is something really cool. Uh, if you want to support this channel and if you want to donate specifically to this channel, you can go to smlessons.com uh, and um, you can find a big PayPal button on the homepage. So if you feel like donating, <laughs> that would be awesome. But all the links are in the video description down below. Another way to support this channel is by giving this video a like. That helps me a lot too. And I want to give a big, big, big shout out to our members. Our Cerveza members, KS and William Lopez. Thank you guys for the cerveza. Uh, I really appreciate it. And it's delicious, of course. And thank you for the support as well. Also, another big shout out to our Cafecito member, Keith Pearson. Thank you, Keith, for the coffee. I appreciate that a lot too. So thank you for the support, guys. You're awesome. And if you like what I do, and also if you want to support this channel, uh, you can check out the memberships on this channel. There, um, there are different perks when getting one. So you can click on the join button down below. Uh, we have three memberships right now. So yeah, if you get a chance, please take a look. Uh -huh. So I see someone on the live chat. KS. Um, welcome KS. ¿Qué tal ganar o perder? Dejar que los juegos comiencen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you won last time, KS. So let's see uh, what happens today. Today is the last crossword of the month. So let's see. Let's see what happens. We might have a tie. Uh, maybe Trent is going to win this month. So who knows? Who knows? We'll see. It's gonna get it's gonna get really exciting. Okay, so I see Roger Mohan as well. Buenas no buenas. ¿Qué tal hoy? Uh, buenas, Roger. Um, es, estoy bien. Hoy está muy bien. Todo está en orden. Todo está correcto. Welcome, Roger. ¿Cómo estás tú? Buenas <laughs> to you as well. So yeah, welcome, welcome, Roger. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the crossword. Let's look at the crossword, guys. Uh, we only have 12 words today, 12 verbs. So some of them are easy. I would say this is a challenging crossword puzzle. It's not going to be easy because we're going to talk about verbs and not too basic verbs, okay? They're not basic. They're a little bit more complicated, but they're commonly used in Spanish. So if you have, uh, I would say, um, medium to advanced level of Spanish, then this is a crossword puzzle for you. <laughs> okay, so let's see, let's see. And if you're a beginner, if you're just learning Spanish, this is also helpful, okay? Because you can see people guessing the words. So you are learning, you're learning as well. So, okay, I'm gonna choose the first one. And before we do this, I'm going to just 
delete the names on the score, today's score. So we just need a name there. Let's remove the other names. There you go. We are ready. Aha. Uh -huh. So let me see. Let me see which one. Which one? I'm not sure, guys. Let's see. Huh. Ha ha ha. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do. I'm thinking between. 8 and 11 so I think I'm going to do <laughs> oh my god okay I'm gonna do a different one nine across nine across I think that's a good one so nine across guys that one has only uh, how many words? It has six words, so it looks easy-ish. So let's see if it is easy. Remember, all of the words are verbs. Verbs, guys. We don't have nouns, we don't have adjectives, just verbs. Nine across. The definition is form an opinion about something or someone okay so this verb is about forming or getting an opinion about something or someone sometimes even before knowing the person okay so this is something that I don't think it's too good to do because um, you know forming an opinion before knowing someone that's a bit odd but <laughs> but it happens okay so forming an opinion it could be good or it could be bad usually bad I would say usually bad um, so Roger says opinar opinar that's more like having an opinion in general it's a good guess um, but that's not the answer. So also, this is something that a judge can do. Okay, so it's a strong verb. It's used to form an opinion about something or about someone and also a judge can do this. <laughs> so, do you know the answer? <laughs> William! Hi, William! I see that your evil twin is on the live chat right now. <laughs> Hola, Julgar, 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 that's a new one, William. <laughs> Welcome, William. Uh, bienvenido. Aha. Okay, so I think William was close. William was close, but he one one letter was not correct. Aha. Uh -huh. So Roger actually has the right answer. Juzgar. 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 So let's see the answer. Juzgar. Juzgar. And this means to judge or to criticize. Okay. So this is a very interesting, interesting verb. You can use it in both situations when you want to criticize someone like, oh my God, this person, I don't know this person too well, but I don't like, I don't like her. I don't like him. Um, or when you're judging, you know, or also if you are, you know, in a situation, hopefully never, where you have to talk to a judge. Uh, <laughs> so the judge is the one who is doing all the you know, all the things that they need to do, judging, I don't know. So 
A juzgar is a great verb for that. Once again, juzgar means to criticize or to judge. Okay, so Roger. Roger uh, gets the point. K is also answered juzgar. So yeah, good job, guys. So Roger gets the point. Good job, Roger. Juzgar. Juzgar. Now, Roger, can you please let us know the next number? Eight. Okay, ocho. You got it. Let's see. Eight, number eight. That one is here, guys. Oops, right here. Ooh, this one has six letters as well. So let's see if this one is an easy one or maybe not. Who knows? Eight down, guys. Okay, the definition is to bring, it could be a task or activity, to an end. Okay, so you're bringing something to an end or you're completing something. What verb in Spanish would you use if you want to say, okay, this thing, what I'm doing is complete. It's finished. So how would you say, or what verb do we need for this? Okay, this one is a bit easy. I think this verb is a basic verb, but uh, it's a good one. It's a good one. You can use this if you're, um, if you completed a task, if you completed a project, uh, if you finished something. Okay, so what verb would you use? Hmm. We can see that this verb has the letter A as well, somewhere in there. That's the third letter, actually. Uh, letra numero tres, o la tercera letra. Aha, uh -huh. so I see, um, KS says traer, traer. Um, I don't think that is accurate. Traer is more like bringing something, okay? So if you, if you bring something, you're not completing something, I would say. Uh, KS also says completar, completar. Uh, yeah, that's a very good guess. That is, uh, that means to complete, but uh, that's that doesn't fit there, KS. So we have six letters, and the third letter is the letter A. So completar, the third letter there is M. Okay, so it doesn't fit, KS, but it's a great verb as well to say, I finished something. Com complete algo. So, yes, really good. Aha, Trent. Welcome, Trent. And yes, that is the answer. Acabar, acabar. So, let's see the answer. Acabar, acabar. And that means to end or to finish. Okay, that's the translation of this verb. Very common, very useful. So, acabar, to end, to finish. So, Trent gets a point. I'm just going to duplicate the name here. And good job, Trent. Good job. Now, Trent, can you please let us know the, uh, the next number, please? Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trent is saying, I think Abracadabra finished the magic trick. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Ab abracadabra. That's a very interesting word as, as well. Ab abracadabra. Yes. It's also a song, I think. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. Trent is saying, Diez horizontal, porfa. You got it. Let's see where the word is. That is right over here. So, yeah it has six letters as well so yeah similar to the previous ones let's see what this verb is all about okay the definition is to be left over or to be too much or too many also something that is not needed Ooh, this verb has a lot of meanings. You can use this verb if you're talking about, uh, you know, to be left over. It could be food, you know, you're talking about leftover food. Also, when you have too much of something or too many, uh, many things, right? Many things. Or also, this verb is about something that is not needed so this is interesting this is a really interesting verb you can use it in many different ways uh-huh william william says i apologize my evil twin keeps on thinking that portuguese and spanish or espanol are all the same <laughs> Uh, well, Portuguese and Spanish are very similar, so maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe your evil twin, yeah, I think your evil twin is, is correct, <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> that's funny, uh, welcome, uh, not evil twin, William, <laughs> the good twin, uh, okay, Roger says, quedar, Quedar. Mmm, quedar is a good answer when you have something left over, right? Like, oh, yeah, you could you could use it, but it there's a better one. And KS, I believe KS has the answer. Yes, KS, you are correct. We're talking about sobrar, sobrar, sobrar. Okay, this is a very, very versatile Spanish verb because this means to be left, you know, if there's anything left or left over. And also, uh, I'm not sure there is, I don't think there's a direct translation. Uh, when you refer, you can use this verb when you refer to something that you have too many of or too much of okay so yeah yeah you could have I don't know five apples and you just need one so me sobran cuatro manzanas okay so sobrar is I have too much of something uh, I have you know to be left over or to be left aha uh -huh. Yeah, this is a very interesting verb. I can talk about this one in a different live stream. Uh, okay, so who answered first? Oh, KS. KS was the only one answering correctly. So KS gets a point. Good job, KS. Okay, so KS, can you please let us know the uh, next number. 
Ah, look at that. Trent says enough to spare some. Yes, that is. Uh, yes, that's one of the meanings of this approximate meaning because I'm not sure there is a, an English verb to translate sobrar exactly, uh, but it's a very good, good verb. Okay, yes, cinco vertical. Let's do that one for sure. Cinco vertical. Uh huh. That's here. That's over here. This verb has seven letters. So this one has one letter more than the previous ones. Yeah. The last letter is the letter R. But I think that's not too helpful because every Spanish verb ends with that letter R. Uh, so let's see. Mm, this is an interesting one. All of them are <laughs> really interesting. The definition of this verb is to grant to grant to someone the use of something on the understanding that it shall be returned. Okay, so you're granting someone to use something, whatever thing it is or thing it is on the understanding that it shall be returned. So you need to return this, okay? It could be books, um, it could be, I don't know, anything that you can return to someone or, or give back to someone. Could be also money, right? Could be money. Uh-huh. So look. Luke Letica. Welcome, Luke. Prender. Prender. That means to turn to turn on. Uh, but that's not the answer. Okay, Luke also says prestar. Prestar. So prestar is the the correct answer. Prestar. Prestar. Okay, so let's see the answer. Prestar. Prestar. That means, guys, do you know what this means? Do you want to tell me what this means? Do you know the, the meaning of this word? <laughs> William Lopez says, No quedó, no quedó. Quedo, quedo agobiado de español. No quedo agobiado de español. <laughs> That's actually the word of the day. Agobiado. Awesome. Thank you for using today's word of the day, William. Uh, yeah, agobiado. No te agobies, William. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Uh, que es prestar, prestar. Yeah, that's what Luke said. Aha, uh -huh. Roger says to loan. Yeah, that could be one meaning. And also this means to land. Okay, to land something, you know, anything. It could be anything. It could be money, it could be uh, books and whatnot. Yeah. Okay, so yes, that is the answer. And the first one to actually, the first one to uh, who answered correctly was look, look. Yeah, I can see it right here. So look gets a point. Good job, look. I'm just gonna duplicate the name. Ooh, we have we have four people on the score. That's amazing. We have Roger, one point, Trent, one, KS, one, Luke, one. I like it. I like it. So, Luke, can you please let us know the next number? Trent says, prestarme un préstamo. Prestame. Prestame. Prestarme un préstamo. Pre <laughs> prestarme. It's like you're 
you're lending yourself uh, un préstamo, a loan or something like that. I would say more like préstame, préstame un préstamo. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that sounds like a lot of pre, pre, pre. Yeah. <laughs> I, okay, KS says biblioteca, la bibliotec, li, la biblioteca presta libros. Great example, KS. Luke. Okay, cuatro vertical, por favor. You got it, Luke. Thank you. Okay. Four down, guys. And where is the word? Uh, that's right here. We can see six letters again. Oh, my goodness. Six letters again. So, hmm. Let's see what this word is about. Four down, four down. Okay. The definition is to experience pain or be subjected to something bad or unpleasant. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> to experience pain or be subjected to something bad or unpleasant. Ooh, so we're having a bad, bad situation where you are experiencing experiencing some sort of pain or you could be subjected to something bad or unpleasant. Aha, uh -huh. so usually this verb is good to use if you you're going through some breakup <laughs> you know if you're if you're not having um, the best time um, if you have problems I think I think you could use this for sure aha Luke says doler doler that's a great answer but that's not that one, that verb has only five letters. Uh, William says sufrir and look sufrir as well. So yes, guys. Yes, that is the answer. We are talking about sufrir. Sufrir. This means to suffer. Okay, that's, that's an easy one. Sufrir to suffer. And yeah, the, there's no complications there. And uh, ooh, that, that was a good one. That was a good one. A good one, sorry. Uh, William gets the point. Uh, I'm gonna see. Yeah, I have space. That's good, that's good. <laughs> oh boy. William. Wow, we have so many of, oops. I need an M. We have so many, many people on the score. I love it. I love it. So yeah, that was the answer. Sufrir to suffer. So William, can you please let us know the next number? This one, yeah, this one is interesting. Yo sufro. Yo sufro mucho. Sufrir. I believe this is also an irregular verb. So let's double check then. Sufrir. Well, no. Sufrir is regular, actually. A regular verb. So it's easier to conjugate. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I, th I think, guys, all of these verbs are regular. All the verbs are regular right now. So that's that's something good. Aha. <laughs> William says, the number dos, please. <laughs> you got it. I like that um, Spanglish. I think that's a term when you mix Spanish and English in a phrase. 
Spanglish. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so let's look at the number. The number dos. Aha. Uh -huh. And ooh, this one is long. This one has six, seven, eight, nine. Nine letters. Nueve letras, guys. Nueve letras. So, hmm. I see that William likes challenges. That's good. Uh huh. The definition of this verb is to leave behind a person or a thing, to cease an activity. So this verb has two different meanings. One is when you leave someone behind, okay? And usually you don't come back. Uh, or you leave behind, you leave a, a thing behind as well. So it could be a house that you don't come, come back to. Um, but this is a bit negative. This, this could be a negative verb. And also this verb refers to um, when you stop doing something or you give up, okay? So what verb would you use? And I see Trent. Trent, he's so quick. I like that. Um, you're correct, my friend. The answer is abandonar. 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 And this means to abandon. Okay? When you abandon something. Also, this means to give up or just to stop doing something. Okay? Uh, so this is a very, very good um Spanish verb, another regular Spanish verb that you you should know because it's quite common. Uh, so Trent, my friend, you you get a point. There you go, there you go, Trent. Thank you for uh, being so quick. I like that. Uh, so can you let us know the next number? We have how many left? One, two, three, four. Five, six. Six numbers left. And yeah, all of them are quite long except 11 across. 11 across looks short. So let's see. <laughs> I see Trent is doing the same thing as William. Uh, <laughs> Trent is saying, el número 11, horizontal, please. <laughs> You're messing with my brain. <laughs> oh, man, that's, that's funny. Uh, yes, let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> 11 across. And, okay, that's the easy one. Well, let's see if it's easy. Uh... It, that's right here. It has five letters. And the definition. Let's see the definition. Okay. The definition is. Are you guys ready? <laughs> okay. Mm, this one is bad. This one is bad. Uh, the definition is to take another person's property without permission or legal right and without intending to return it. So <laughs> this is a big, a bad one, just a bad one. So you're someone, it's the action of taking another person's property, okay, without permission or legal right. And uh, it's something that nobody should do. Uh -huh. Trent. Trent, you are correct. Roger as well. We are talking about robar. 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 So this, this verb means to burgle, to rob, to steal. Okay, so all those three things. 
If you say, me robaron, I was robbed, you know, uh, voy a robar una manzana, I'm going to steal an apple. I don't know why would you steal an apple, but yeah, essentially you're taking something that doesn't belong to you, okay? And uh, yeah, robar, robar. And Trent, Trent was the first one to answer. Good job, Trent. Now, can you please let us know the next number? Okay, William says, whoa, unless Trent and Roger randomly guessed, they really don't have any delay. I'm not undervaluing your knowledge, just saying. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, um, I'm not sure why some people get delays and some people don't. I'm not sure. I wish I wish I had the answer, William, but uh, yeah, I mean, Trent is very quick. Roger is very quick. Um, KS is doing a great job as well. So yeah, guys, <laughs> that's how it, this works. <laughs> uh, Trent says three, <laughs> three vertical. <laughs> oh, guys, okay. Oh, let's do that one. Let's do that one. Sounds like a plan. Mm-hmm. Three down. Three down, guys. Three down. You know what? When you use Spanglish, honestly, I really like it. Even though sometimes I get confused a little bit. Uh, but I think my brain is like super exercising you know <laughs> so it's very good i'm doing the switching like super fast so i like that <laughs> uh huh so that word is ooh it, that word is a challenge because this word has 3 6 7 8 9 10 10 letras 10 letras and the first letter is the letter R, 10 letters and the first one, the first letter is the letter R. Aha. Uh -huh. um. <laughs> so I see you guys talking. So Luke says, Juro por Dios, Trent tiene una máquina de, de tiempo. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a time machine, Trent? Luke is asking, or not asking, but just saying that. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's quite interesting. I wish I had a, a time machine. We should, we should, we should do a crossword puzzle about science fiction. You know, I think that would be a great topic. You gave me a great idea, Luke. Thank you. Um, Trent says. I guess early. I know how bad the delay is here. <laughs> I think Trent can read my mind. That could be another another thing, guys. Hmm? <laughs> uh, Luke says, "Oh, mi computadora está atrasado." Hmm. I'm not sure, guys. Maybe it's. Also, it has to do with uh, your internet speed. That could be a problem. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I wish I could just, you know, fix all delays and whatnot, but I, I just can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so let's do the next word. Three down, guys. This one has, how many letters did I say? 10, 10 letras, 10 letras, 10 letters. The definition is to take the place of or to exchange or to substitute. So this verb is about taking the place of, I don't know, 
could be someone, you know, or you are exchanging. Uh, for example, if you something you had is broken and you need to get a new one, you can use this verb for that situation. Or if there is a substitute, if you have to substitute, I don't know, someone or something like that. Do you guys know the answer? This is, a, yeah, this one is a tricky one. But yeah, once again, we have different meanings, but they're quite similar, okay? So this verb can be used in different situations, but essentially you are replacing something or you need to, um, you, you, I don't know, like you can take the place off, um, exchange. If you buy something from a store and you, it could be a, a t-shirt and it's too small or too big, you go back and you want to exchange that, right? You, you need a different one, um, a better one. No way. <laughs> oh boy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So KS, KS was quick. I mean, he's quick, but he, he, he was quicker this time and uh, actually guessed the verb. That is the answer, reemplazar, reemplazar. And this verb has two E's, which is quite interesting. Reemplazar, reemplazar. And that means, do you know what this means, guys? This means to replace or to substitute. So I pretty much said the answer in English when I read the definition, but that is the meaning of this Spanish verb. It's also regular. So Trent, good job, my friend. You get a point. You get a point. Uh, now, KS, can you please let us know the next numero? <laughs> So Roger says, I've noticed a delay in trying to be fast, but Trent is even faster. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, that's the thing, guys. Um, it's all about answering first. And uh, yeah, if you have any delay, that can affect you for sure. Uh, William says, it's really okay at Trent in Tampa. I guess you guys are located in North America. <laughs> yeah, right? Maybe maybe Trent. I'm I'm close to Trent and that's why <laughs> and that's why he he uh, doesn't have any delay. I don't think that I don't think that matters, William. <laughs> I don't think that really matters if uh, if you're close to, or if you're in North America or in a different country. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> that's interesting, William, for sure. Uh huh. Do you real? Do you want to know where I where I live, guys? <laughs> No, I mean, I mean, not the address, but um, can you guess where I live? You know, the country. I wonder if, if you can guess correctly. Um, so, yes, Uno Horizontal. Thank you, KS. So let's do that one. One across. One across, guys. Uno horizontal. And, oh, I see the word right here. 
This one has three, six, seven, eight. Eight letters. Um, we have one letter, E. You know that one, so you can start guessing if you feel confident enough to do so. So, <laughs> oh man. I remember someone did that like many times, like guessing right away without without the definition. Um, I'm not sure who who it was, but yeah, it was impressive. So one across to keep out of view, to be hidden. Okay, so this one is, I think it's easy. Essentially, you're keeping something out of view where you or that thing is hidden on purpose <laughs> uh, so do you know the answer usually pirates do that you know when pirates were a thing uh, they would take their treasure and just put it somewhere uh, hidden you know because you know treasure <laughs> but uh, mm, what else can you do with this essentially you you're just keeping something out of view uh-huh so do you guys know the answer remember this word has eight letters eight letters Aha, uh -huh. okay, so, man, KS, KS, I'm impressed, uh, William says, through, through, aha, uh -huh. what? <laughs> A browser through a desktop browser we can see the location of the channel in your about tab oh really can you hmm I see I see I didn't know that so I guess you know already William <laughs> okay so KS, KS, you are correct, my friend. That is the correct answer. Esconder, esconder. Esconder means to hide. Okay, so you can hide things. You, people can hide. Me escondo, right? So if you're hiding, me estoy escondiendo. Or if you hide something, voy a esconder mis lentes. Voy a esconder mis lentes or, or mis gafas. Uh, so, yes, esconder, to hide. So, KS gets a point. Good job, KS. Mm -hmm. Now, you know what to do, KS. Can you please let us know the next number? And I'm going to check my About tab. Let's see. Will you guys do that? I mean, uh, KS. Well, KS does that. Whatever, you know, the number. <laughs> Let's see. You can't see my browser right now. Okay. I see. Uh, I can't do that right now. But... Ooh, that is bright. Oh my god, my eyes. <laughs> that was bright. Oh my goodness. 
that was like the sun let's see let's see so okay yes can you please ha <laughs> okay yeah that's okay <laughs> man <laughs> so now you know william yeah yeah i saw that i saw that and yeah that's that's actually my location uh so yeah basically north america <laughs> um says vertical que yes says that so let's do that says vertical it's actually says horizontal six across aha uh -huh. so that is right here guys and we have three six seven eight nine nine letters nueve letras nueve letras and we can see quite a few letters as well oh my goodness i can see the letter e r a and r so <laughs> let's see what this verb is all about to write or say the letters of a word so what verb would you use when writing when writing or saying the letters of a word so this is very common or this verb can be used when someone is asking uh, the letters of your last name <laughs> that's something common it's like oh my god can can you tell me I'm, i don't want to say the english verb but um it's like oh my god how like can you tell me the letters how do you your last name you know que ella says culpa mía culpa mía what are we talking about <laughs> Oh, the bird, the across and down thing, okay, yes. Don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Uh, vives Estados Unidos. Ah, okay, yes, thinks that I live in America. It's interesting. <laughs> um, okay, guys. What is the verb that you would use if you need to say the letters of any word? Just the letters. So if I'm doing something like, I'm going to tell you the letters of the verb abandonar. A, B, A, N, D, O, N, A, R. Okay? Or reemplazar. R, E, E, M, P, L, E. A, Z, A, R. Okay. There's actually like a creepy radio station from somewhere. Well, that's, a, that's, that's, <laughs> I don't know why I remembered that, but uh, there's a creepy radio station that say, there's a woman saying like numbers and letters. Um, I don't think the woman is, <laughs> is saying anything coherent but it's just like one five eight something um the i don't know i i think it's in english or it's in a different language i'm not sure but that's like a, a weird thing have you have you heard of this <laughs> okay guys what is going on too hard is this one too hard Okay, so I'm going to give you the first letter. 
the first letter guys the first letter of this verb is the letter B the letter D D William says soletre, soletrar ah it's similar to that <laughs> but um, not quite <laughs> it's similar a little bit you have good letters there but that's not the answer aha uh -huh, that is the answer yeah the second one is the correct one de le trear de le trear okay that means to spell like when you're spelling words spelling your last name or your name de le trear de le trear to spell and william william gets the point Mm -hmm. So we have a tie so far, guys. Trent, three points. KS, three points. Let's see what happens. Um, let's see. Let's see. William, can you please let us know the next, the next number? We have two numbers only. <laughs> seven abajo seven abajo <laughs> okay let's do that uh, seven down okay the word is right here that's the word guys seven down siete vertical or siete abajo like William or seven abajo like William said <laughs> And um, let's see. Hmm. This verb means to cause the water or other liquid in something to run out, leaving it empty, dry, or drier. To cause the water or water or other kind of liquid inside of something to run out leaving it empty dry or drier uh so these <laughs> this i like this verb um it, it sounds it sounds good i like the sound of this verb but essentially you're talking about uh, something you you could have i don't know a a plant plant pot right and then you you put water you're watering your plant and then there is water coming out of the pot so what verb would you use to describe what's happening right there okay or let me see another example what other example hmm another example could be Actually, this verb can be used if you have your mouth open <laughs> while sleeping and then there's, you know, saliva coming out of your mouth. <laughs> uh, or when you are wowed by someone or something and then you have your, your mouth open and then there's some saliva. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I don't think that happens, but uh, I guess it could happen. Uh, also, let's see what else. Mm, I, I'm trying to find more examples using this verb. Another example could be if you have, for example, a sponge and it's it's so wet, so you squish that sponge and there's a lot of 
whatever liquid coming out of it so what's the action of the liquid going from the object to i don't know the floor into a sink or something like that what is that verb or the action It's a quite interesting uh, verb. Que yes es lavarse. That's not the answer. No, nope. Que yes lavarse. That's when you wash something. So, nope. This one is, yeah, it, this one is hard to explain, but it's just the action of having something that is filled with water or a liquid, and then there is like, just the the liquid is just getting out of that um the plant example is very good or what other example i'm just thinking guys i'm thinking this one is okay so there are different different uh, situations where you can use this verb um, for example, if you're cooking pasta and you're, you're, you know, you're done cooking the pasta, usually some people, uh, get the pasta into some container, some sort of, um, strainer or something like that. And then they pour cold water into the strainer, uh, and you see the water coming out of the strainer. So that is an example which is a little vague but that's one example you can use this this verb for ex to explain that um <laughs> this one is a really really difficult one because it has quite a few meanings so i'm gonna just say the words in but before that, I, I was going to say like the translation of this verb, but I'm going to show you the first letter. So, you know, you have a, a clue, a, another clue, right? So, essentially, you're removing liquid. It could mean to drain. Okay. It could mean, it could mean to strain or... Uh, essentially that um, to drip in some situations and that's basically what this means so how would you say to drain in Spanish or to strain the first letter is the letter a a very very tricky one for sure if you guys if you can guess this one I'm going to be impressed oh <laughs> there you go William William has the answer we're talking about escurrir escurrir okay so as I said before this means to drain okay Escurre la, 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 I don't know, escurre la pasta, okay? So you're, you're waiting for the water to, to just drain out of the, I don't know, pasta that you're cooking. Um, so escurrir. You could also say, uh, <laughs> se te escurre la baba, or sal saliva. That means that you're drilling pretty much or drooling sorry drooling when you're drooling so yeah this one is a tough one uh but yeah escurrir william you are correct uh-huh so we have now <laughs> trent <laughs> trent has three points ks has three points william has three points as well look one roger one so 
the last one guys let's see what happens because <laughs> i'm not sure what's gonna happen right now and i think trent is gone i don't <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what happened to him, but uh, I, yeah, it's like, he he's not here right now. Are you here, Trent? <laughs> um, okay. That's the tricky thing, guys. That's the tricky, tricky thing. Uh, William says, I won't guess the last one. Um... Guys, you can guess whenever you want. You can do it, William. If in the future you win again, you know the the whole um, crossword puzzle month. If you win again, you can join us again. Okay, so it's not like oh you can't win again, William. So don't worry about that. It, everybody can guess the words guys everybody everybody i know some people have delays some people don't but everybody has the chance to answer okay so don't don't feel like oh i'm not gonna answer or whatever just do it just do it go for it okay um <laughs> now the last word is the word or 12 across that's the last word and um hmm we can see that this word has uh, seis, siete, ocho, ocho letras eight letters and um uh, yeah it's 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 probably a difficult one guys so yes it is a difficult one i already saw it uh ha -ha. <laughs> This one, guys, 12 across. This one has, I don't, I don't know if I said this before, but it has six, seven, eight, eight letters, ocho letras. The definition is to sing without saying words or singing with your closed lips. So this one is quite good. <laughs> I like it. I like this verb. My mom does this a lot. But yeah. To sing without saying words. Or to sing with closed lips. Usually you do this when you don't know the lyrics of any song that you like. Um, do you know how to say this in, in, in Spanish? What verb would you use for that specific situation? Hmm. <laughs> Look. Look. That is the answer. Good job, Luke. Tararear. 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 Okay, so that means to hum. If you're humming a song, hum. Okay, so <laughs> that is a simple verb. You don't have to worry about, oh, what else does it mean? No, it's just humming to hum. <laughs> that is it. That is it. And um, Luke. Luke gets a point. Luke. Good job. And this is a tough one. <laughs> this was a... I really liked it because we have five people on the score. And I love that. Uh, but essentially we have a tie before we do the official reading of the score I'm going to read all the words that you guys guessed I'm proud of you by the way and uh, let's see let's see <laughs> let's yeah let's talk a little a little bit after this if you have any questions please 
Let me know if you have any suggestions for future crossword puzzles. Also, please let me know. And let's do the reading. Um, I'm gonna choose a uh, purple color. Yeah, why not? So you can read with me. You can read this with me, guys. Let's do that. Abandonar. Abandonar. To abandon. Okay, to abandon. That's what this means. Abandonar. Also, it means to give up or to stop. The next one, reemplazar. Reemplazar. This means to replace or to substitute. Es esconder. Esconder. This means to conceal or to hide. Okay. Sufrir. Sufrir. This means to suffer. Prestar. Prestar. This means to land. The next one, deletrear. Deletrear. <laughs> deletrear. Sorry. To spell. Acabar. Acabar. To finish or to end. Juzgar. Juzgar. To criticize or to judge. Escurrir. Escurrir. To drain. Okay. Robar. Robar. To burgle. To rub. To steal. Tararear. Tararear. To hum. And sobrar. Sobrar. This means to be left or to be left over. Okay, so that was today's crossword puzzle. And uh, <laughs> let's read the, uh, the score. So we have Trent, three points, KS, three points, William, three points, Luke, two points, Roger, one point. So we, we got a tie. It, yeah, it's a tie. It's a tie. So it's okay. It's okay. Um, I guess Tam Trent in Tampa won this month. He's, he's uh, this month's winner. Yeah, Trent in Tampa. Uh, so, I mean, even though we had a tie, I'm just going to... Uh, give you guys some fireworks because you did an excellent job and um also i'm going to change this song <laughs> there you go so guys i'm really proud of you let me know if you have any questions right now let's see um KS says, a veces tardo. That's okay. That's okay, KS. Um, you're doing an excellent job. You you guess a lot of words, my friend. So you, you're doing an excellent job. Um, thank you for participating. William, wow. I wouldn't have guessed anyways. Some new words today. Yes, this crossword puzzle was not easy. This was... Uh, like a more advanced Spanish uh, but I think it you need to learn these things if you are a beginner don't worry about it because you you heard the words you know you know uh, you know what they mean so that was something really good for you to to know for sure and uh, if you have an advanced Spanish I mean all of you guys, the guys, uh, all of you that uh, you were guessing, that's like advanced Spanish very much. So <laughs> be proud, be proud. Uh -huh. um, 
Luke. La palabra hum es onomatopeica, onomatopeica, pero tararear no. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> Look, um, but essentially tararear is to hum. So you're, if you're humming, if you're doing this la 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 la. Mm, la 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 if you're like kind of humming well that is like you're <laughs> it's tararear <laughs> I don't know what else to say here but thank you look for sharing uh, que es es una corbata que es algo es una corbata tie <laughs> oh man um KS says, Vives Canada. I live Canada? I live Canada or I live in Canada? <laughs> KS. I, well, uh, let me tell you guys, let me tell you that um, I live because I, I've, I've never said where I live. I always tell you. I'm from Mexico. I'm from Mexico. I'm a Mexican. Uh, but let me tell you guys, I live in Canada. That is correct. I live in Canada. Um, oh, Canada. So, yes, I live in Canada and I love Canada. Canada is a great country, guys. Um, I've been living here for a long, long time. And yeah, that's why I want to learn French. I really need to learn French. <laughs> But yeah, I live in Canada, KS. And if you had that question before, now you know. Now you know. Um, William, ¿qué piensas del acento de España? Can you reproduce it? Can I, can I talk like a Spaniard? Um, not too well. <laughs> not too well. I know how to do the accent, but I'm not that good at doing that. <laughs> I could say um, a few phrases like, Me cago en la hostia. Hostia, hostia. Yeah, that's, that's the, the thing. You know, the, 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 the sound is quite tricky um, for example I don't know what to say like a Spaniard me cago en la hostia is like the, <laughs> the only phrase I know and that's a, like a bad phrase a very very bad phrase mm, eres la leche mm, I'm trying to find words with the letter C Acento, acento español. And let me tell you guys, a, a lot of Spaniards don't like this. Uh, I have a video about this accent. And uh, I do a better job there when I recorded that video. Uh, because I was reading about the accent and all of that. And Spaniards have uh, an SH sound. They say they don't. But they do. Very subtle. I know I get a lot of comments saying, we don't have that sound and blah, blah, blah. But it's different when you don't hear yourself. When, you, when you're so used to your accent, sometimes you can't, you know, on, you can't tell those little details, the sounds and all of that. And let me tell you, if you're from Spain, please don't get mad, but you don't pronounce the letter S similar to the Latin American people, you know, the S from Latin America. Um, they do a sh, sh, like a SH sound that is very peculiar. And please don't get mad at me. It's just like, you have that sound. <laughs> you do. But anyways, um... Thank you for asking, William. KS, Crucigrama de Ley y Justicia. 
I think you told me that one. KS. The low on order. <laughs> oh, oops. The low and an order um, crossword puzzle. I can do that for sure. I can do that. Uh, thank you for suggesting that, KS. And also, KS. Astronaut Azúcar, que la personalidad es muy cálido. Thank you, KS, for your kind comments. And Trent, uh, I'm pretty sure Trent is not here anymore. But if you want to participate, if you want to join us on a podcast episode, um, because he he won already once, uh, but he didn't get back to me for whatever reason. I'm not sure. So I'm, I don't know if he wants to join us. Uh, but if you do, if you do, Trent, you know what to do. You can just send an email to, let me show you the uh, email, to hola at smlessons.com. And you can let me know, hey, like, I'd like to join you on a uh, podcast episode so let me know and uh, we can we can see we can figure things out okay guys thank you so much for watching this video for staying up until the end thank you so much you are you are great you are awesome thank you once again to our members thank you for the support we appreciate you and i hope you have a wonderful evening night morning wherever you are be safe guys be safe and well i'll see you well if you like this video please give it a like and uh that's it that's it thank you guys take care of yourself bye bye bye, -bye.